<laughs> Welcome to our life. <laughs> That's not to say you're less important than a camera, but <laughs> it seems. I'm feeling less important. <laughs> Is everyone here? Ah, yes. oh, I'm, I'm raising hand if you're not here. Yeah. Yes, raise your hand. Thank you so much for coming to this weekend. It's amazing. We've got people at all these. I babble what you do. incoherently at the best of times. Yep. Yeah. The pandemic is kind of the well worst Well done, of nobody's disagreeing. <laughs> so I thought, uh, as is pretty much tradition, I will usually tell a story uh, of some sort uh, and have uh, sometimes random people playing uh, different characters. But So this uh, is an instrument I don't know, um, I'm sure many of you will have seen my Sienna Harper. This is based on a painting that was found in uh, Siena, in Italy, in 1408, painted by a guy called Tadeo di Bartolo. Tadeo di Bartolo was born in six, uh, 1363. And, um, Tuesday. Uh, <laughs> it might have been a Tuesday. The one in seven chances, yes. <laughs> we don't know why he painted the painting or what, yeah, we don't know anything about it. Well, we didn't know anything about it, but I have done some research on to why and how the Sienna Harper uh, came into being. So I'm going to share with you my absolutely, definitely true research right now. <laughs> <laughs> Never seen before. 
I will return on this day, 25 years from now, to claim my prize, your soul. Today I look stunned. 25 years? That's a lifetime. I can surely find an instrument that is so obscure and pointless that even the devil has never heard of it. <laughs> yes, you have your wager. In exchange for being the world's greatest artist, I will find you a musical instrument you have never seen before or you get my soul. Deal. The devil smiled and in the blink of an eye vanished. The devil was true to his word. Within the space of four years, today I was painting great works of art, had entered the Sienese Guild of Artists, had become a master painter and was painting frescoes in all of the most prestigious palaces. Today I never forgot his roots though, and he would often go back home to his father's barber shop to entertain the customers. Many people would stop by on their journeys, and today I would sing songs and tales and drink ale until late into the night. Minstrel playing a portative organ? That 
that's nothing. <laughs> Today you're pointed again. Symbols, a shawm, a lute, a lyre, an owlos, a hurdy-gurdy, please. Even a child would know of these instruments. One by one, today I pointed at each of the angels until there was only one left. This had been the final angel that today had pointed, almost as an afterthought. At the last minute, he had remembered a particular drunken <coughs> evening back at his father's barber's shop. Now that he thought about it, there had been an awful lot of minstrels passing through that barber shop, carrying an amazing array of instruments. But there had been one that had caught his eye, and it was this angel that he now pointed at. The angel, dressed in a peach tunic, long golden hair, was playing an instrument not dissimilar to a violin, but was held across the chest, and to change the notes, keys were pressed. He wasn't sure how, or if it worked, or even if it really had been at his father's barber shop, but he had painted it, and now, with a trembling finger, was pointing to it. Suddenly, the devil stopped his taunts from the doorway and stared at what he assumed was a minstrel playing the most unusual instrument he had ever seen. In fact, never seen before. The devil tore his gaze away and looked to Deo full in the face. You win. Your soul is yours to keep. And just like that, the devil vanished. This painting is still in the Palazzo Publico, and you can go and gaze at the instrument. And the chances are that you too will remember the first time you ever saw your first keyed fiddle. <laughs>